Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am going to show you in this video how to set up a free Shopify website on the developer store and then I'm going to show you how to then integrate that with a print-on-demand supplier. I'm going to show you how to do very basic SEO. I'm going to make more videos about this. If this video does well, I'm going to be making a lot more videos about how to do the very specific SEO points of this. But for now, what I want to show you is that anyone can make one of these stores and you can literally upload as many products as you want in the background without paying anything. You can write a hundred blog posts, you can make a thousand collections, you can upload 10,000 products. And then after all of that process, then you can release your website to the public, okay? And that gives us a massive advantage because we're not gonna be working on Shopify while also paying for Shopify. We only start paying for Shopify when we're ready and when we can be fairly confident that we can make enough sales just from the items that we have and all the SEO that we've done. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. I'm gonna show you everything from A to Z on how to set up a free Shopify store, start working on it in the background, get it ready for the public, and hopefully make some money because other print-on-demand marketplaces are going down the toilet, in my opinion. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're actually gonna have to do is we're gonna have to create ourselves a Shopify partner account. I already have one, but just make a Shopify partner account. It's not that difficult. Once you see this screen, we're gonna add a new store and we're gonna click a developer, developed per store. Doesn't matter what you put here, you can change this in the future. Um, but yeah, I'm just putting a random name, really amazing t-shirt. I might just honestly release the website with that as, as a uh, URL. And then gonna put, I'm just playing around. Again, that doesn't really matter that much. And then literally as soon as this finishes, we have access to the most powerful website builder in the world for free which we can work on for months and months and months and months and not have to pay anything, okay? I really hope that you guys appreciate this video because this is huge for a lot of people. People think you have to instantly start paying for Shopify, but you don't. So we're gonna go on the App Store and my idea here was to see which of the three main print-on-demand suppliers that I've heard of, Printf Printify, Printful, and Gelato, which of them has the highest kind of recommendation to download ratio. And I think that's a good way to do it. Like if you look at the, this has 4.6 stars and it has 4,000 reviews. Gelato, 4.5, 169 reviews. So it's pretty close overall, but it looked like to me that Printful was actually the best here. So because I already have a Printful account, I just decided to use Printful. I have, an, I have an affiliate link for Printful, but I'm not gonna use it, I don't think, because I don't really wanna endorse any of the companies because I've never used any of them. I don't know which is the best. I'm pretty sure Printful has problems as well, so I don't know, just do your own research, have a look at them, have a look at the quality, et cetera, et cetera. Once you've done that, you wanna actually connect the store to um, your Shopify like that, like I just did. You can see now it says stores slash really amazing t-shirts here. So this means that I'm on my store for really amazing t-shirts, which is perfect and exactly what I wanted. So I did make a mistake here. I went on a polo shirt, which is an embroidery design, and I don't really want to mess with embroidery right now. So I just went back and I went on a Bella Canvas t-shirt like this. And then you just want to add it to the store like that. So click really amazing t-shirts from the Printful product. Just like that, and then, yeah, this is the page that we're all very, very familiar with. I don't wanna mess with embroidery because I don't understand it right now. I could probably understand it, but right now I'm just not dealing with it. So instead, I did DTG printing, which if you don't know is, I'm pretty sure it's what Redbubble uses, and it's just a much kind of easier system, unless you're a real artist. If you're a real artist, then maybe go for embroidery, maybe make some amazing, beautiful embroidery designs. Do whatever suits you guys. You don't have to copy what I'm doing. I'm just, this is just what I'm doing. And you wanna either, you've got three options. You want a white background, a black background, or a transparent background, okay? Transparent is the best. The reason this doesn't have a transparent background is because I made a video a couple of days ago about, ago about how to use Canva for free to make designs without paying for Canva Premium. And 
I just didn't download this and this is just an example but obviously you want to make sure that your designs look really really beautiful you want to choose between black and white or if your um, design is transparent and it uses a color that can be used on black and white you can definitely keep black and white both on at the same time you can see here that the black of Canva is not the same as the black from Printful so this would look terrible so don't do this this is just an example this page here is incredibly important. I want to make a separate video about how to do SEO for your print on demand stores. But basically what you want to do is you want to write the, just the keyword in the product title. And also you can leave what they've written as well if you want to. The description here is a bit more important, but only because we have more control over it. The reason I don't think Redbubbles is that important is because we don't have a lot of control over what the description is doing for us. But here we have total control. You can see the description here is already, it already has a lot of information in it. Personally, if I was really serious about my print on demand career, I would change all of this to make it unique. That does take a lot of time. So I am gonna be recommending Jasper in these videos. If you want to give Jasper a try, I'll leave a link in the description, but I want to talk about that in a different video anyway. So yeah, I just, I clicked yes on all of these for a very, very simple reason. The more information you have on the page, the more information Google has to work with. Now tags are the most important part of this process. Again, I'm going to make a video about this another time, but the way this is going to work is we are going to make designs around certain niches and then we're going to make collections around certain niches and we're going to connect the collections with the designs by using tags okay i am going to show you how to do this in this video don't worry but for now we've now just added our first product it's that easy it's that simple there's no kind of special process here that's literally it if you just go on your shopify store now and press products, you can see that your product is already on there, which is perfect. And look, it doesn't even look bad. The, the normal Dawn theme is super quick. It already looks good. It just needs a couple of changes to make it a little bit better. I do have an entire playlist on how to customize your Shopify store, and I will be making more content like that because I honestly think this is the best way to go forwards. So now I want to show you how to make a collection and how to connect it to your product. You, you want to write a good description for all of your collections, unique descriptions for all of your collections. You want to pack it full of uh, keywords, etc., etc., which is exactly what I'm doing here. But remember that each collection should be kind of uh, separate. Okay, so this particular collection is for gamer guys, okay? I, it, the thing is, it's a uni, unisex t-shirt, so I have mentioned uh, women as well, but it's a gamer guy t-shirt, so I should have a gamer guy um, tag in my products, which are associated with gamer guys, okay? Then you just go down and you just, you, you need to know what your product tags are, first of all. I don't know why I wrote Valentine here, don't worry, I'm going to make this better in a second. But I completely forgot the tags that I used somehow. So I opened the product again. I found the tags on the right of Shopify, just here it says tags. And then, yeah, I only really needed Gamer here. So I do, I realize this in a second, uh, probably around about now that I just need one tag that says the word Gamer. And I don't know what I was even doing here. <laughs> but here we go, Gamer, there we go. And then delete that one. And then that's it, that's the collection made. It has all of the SEO already and you can just move on to the next one, basically. You do want to spend a bit more time, you want to make sure everything is perfect, etc., etc. but generally speaking, we've pretty much finished the process of making our first product and our first collection already. The way I would recommend doing this is making a load of designs for one collection, just work on that collection first. Don't make a thousand designs and then start going, you know, I'm gonna put this one and this one and this one and this one. It'll get too complicated, just trust me on that. You need to just make all of the Gamer Guy t-shirts first and then all the Gamer Woman t-shirts and then all the, you know, whatever it might be, okay? So do each collection one by one and then focus on blog posts which connect your products and your collections to the internet as well. I'm going to be making more videos about this, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.